Hey guys, welcome to another Adapt Now in the Kitchen video. Today I wanted to go through a quick tutorial of the Ninja Creamy. I'm gonna be following the recipe that we have in the Adapt Now app, and you guys can find this video there. Now the prep time for this is five minutes. So it takes five minutes to prep this, and then another five minutes to cook it, which is gonna be a respin, plus your freezing time. So once we make this batch, we'll throw it in the freezer and then take it back out to respin it. So we have our Ninja Creamy pint. I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna add our favorite protein. Today I'll be using the HD Muscle Pro HD chocolate. And we're gonna throw in two scoops of this. One of my other big favorites is the ATP dark chocolate with dark chocolate mixing, but do one of those later. So we got our protein powder in there. The next thing we're gonna add is the sugar-free Jello mix. So we only need a teaspoon of this. And we're gonna add in our almond milk. Put about a cup in there. I'm not measuring right now, you probably should. I'm gonna go just right below the fill line. And then before I throw this in the mixer, I'm just gonna give it a little shake. So you can either pre-blend this in a shaker cup or with a blender or whatever you choose, but I'm gonna show you guys the quick way to do it in the Ninja Cream. Go ahead and pull this out. Pop her in the place. Get the lock. Turn it on, we'll go to full. And then we'll just mix it in as ice cream. So now we're gonna push to release the lock. Bring this out. It's all thoroughly mixed now. So I'll pop the top in. We're gonna put this in the freezer for 24 hours. Once it's frozen, we'll put it back in. Oh, would you look at that? It just froze just like that. We're gonna put her on in. And we put it to full again. And then put it on the ice cream setting. And we'll let her spin. Unlock again. Now, it's looking a little dry. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna add a little extra bit of almond milk, help freshen it up. And we're gonna spin it one more time. This time we're just gonna click respin. Pull, respin. And just like that, we have ice cream. It is the same consistency of any of your favorite ice creams. And this is the best part. Mm. 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 Oh, it's cold, but it's so good. Oh, it's cold. Mm. But like really though, check out that consistency that comes out. It's just like ice cream. So another thing that you can do is spin it again by clicking mix-ins. Um, when you add some mix-ins in, like stuff like dark chocolate, almond butter, so on and so forth. But quick, easy tutorial. It's super simple to use. Yeah, guys, um, this thing's my new best friend. My sweet tooth is kept at bay and uh, I'm really happy with this purchase. 
So try out any of your favorite protein flavors and uh, yeah, make yourself some protein ice cream. All right guys, it's that simple. Literally mix it up, throw it in there, have it mixed, freeze it, pop it back in, hit to mix. Again, you can change the settings to kind of get a different consistency if you're going for something else. I just like the light ice cream the best. And uh, make sure you take out the blade and rinse this thoroughly. It is BPA free, it's good plastic. I like these, these are holding up quite nice. I've had it for a while now. But uh, just like a shaker cup, it will end up stinking. Protein powder and plastic of any sort don't really mix. So make sure you're 30 relancing. I'd say scoop it out, put it in a bowl, throw it back in the freezer for whatever you have left over. But I'll see you guys on the next one and be sure to check out future Ninja Creamy uh, recipes, just like any other recipes we have. We put an Ashley to work with some cool mix-ins. I just wanted to give you guys a very quick breakdown on how to do this super fast. You can get creative with it, add in anything you want. The mix-in option is there. But yeah, guys, I will see you on the next one in the kitchen. Ciao. I don't like how it turned out. I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna like it. Video or the ice cream? The, the video, the ice cream's fucking phenomenal. You actually did a really good job with it, babe. Okay, well. It looks good. Oh, well, really fucking good ice cream. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Good. And this is the one, uh, this is actually isn't a double chocolate one. This is the one I uh I put the birthday, birthday cake. I put one scoop of birthday cake, one scoop of chocolate. Yeah, it tastes like chocolate cake. Yeah. Fucking good. Or like not not chocolate cake. It tastes like more like chocolate ice cream. Hmm. That's what it tastes like. All right, that tastes like chocolate ice cream. Mm. All right, Ninja Creamy bonus. If you guys made it to the end of the video, you know how after a really good movie, the end credits roll, and then there's that hidden scene. This is the hidden scene. I love root beer floats. Absolutely love them. They go great with anything. Typically, if I want to have a cheat meal that isn't a cheat meal, I'll pop out my Ninja Foodie. I'll make some uh, chicken nuggets in the air fryer. I'll make some fries in the air fryer. Again, from potatoes and actual chicken and everything else, like it's keeping everything super clean. Again, with this, it's protein ice cream. So grab a Zevia. These are zero cow root beers. And like, I don't know how they're zero cow and they're so freaking good. But uh, yeah, super simple. Crack your Zevia. Pour it in a glass. In. We're gonna put in a couple scoops of the ice cream. Get a straw, stir up a little bit. Mm. A root beer float at home with only protein in it. You can't go wrong. Now I really will. See you guys in the next one. Peace.